Hey the folks, I got a new knife for you. This is going to be an unboxing. So this is going to be a present for a wiener um, whose birthday was the other day. I'm not going to mention his name, but it was on my Instagram account. And I hope he's not watching this because uh, then he'll know what he's getting for his birthday. So, so, so I'm getting him a bottle of bourbon, I think. God, I hope he's not watching. So I'm getting him a bottle of bourbon. And then I found this. So this particular wiener <laughs> is a big camper. So I wanted to get him something camp-like. So I found this uh, Hol uh, uh, Holtzman's, I don't know if it's Gorilla Holtzman's, but something like that. And I'll put it up here when I get the, the actual name. But uh, pretty important. Okay, so th this is the box it comes in, right? It's like nice. It's like a nice gift set. So, so I open it for him. <laughs> so it gives you a nice warning in case you're not knife savvy. Uh, really, you're at a specs, so you're, we're, we're dealing with a 1095 high carbon steel, which is awesome for camping, right? Because it's easy to sharpen um, and it stays sharp, but you have to keep it well lubricated or you're going to get rust. Unless that's what you're into. Some guys like their knives to rust. They like the way that looks. But um, yeah, so it gives you instructions how to maintain it, wipe it down, after use with oil, spray it with WD-40. The, the, I think Rob Carter uses WD-40. I believe it was Rob Carter when he sent me a knife. It was like sprayed in WD-40 and then wipe it down. But yeah, so I don't want to lose that. I'll just put that over here on the side. So here it is. Really nice packaging. Really impressed. Now, I'm not sure why this is exposed, but they, they, they cut out the foam to expose that. I don't know. For whatever reason. So what do you get? You get some nice silica gel. Well, I'm going to show you the knife. Right? So the knife is um, in plastic. And it's heavily, heavily... Now, this is a gift, so I didn't wipe it down. It's heavily saturated in oil. So it might look terrible on video. And there it is. Right? So it's a it's a bushcraft knife um, with 1095 steel. The 1095 steel is coated uh, in some kind of... Oh, I, I'm sorry. I don't want you to think this is something weird, but <laughs> that's just to protect your fingers so you don't get it cut. But uh, again, it's uh, DLC coated. You see the logo right there. Um, again, 1095 steel. It's got a flat grind. This is heavy duty. I didn't weigh this. Uh, I'm not sure how much it weighs, but it's pretty hefty. And you can see the size of the steel right there. So if you want a baton, wood, or I don't know, move things around. It's got some nice... I'm going to slide this over here for now so we can focus on this. Jumping on it. It's got G10 handles. Right, it's a full tang, so the steel goes all the way through. You can see it exposed right there, and the handles on top. I'm not sure if I'm not sure if they made uh, you know they skeletonized it inside, but feeling the weight of this, it sure doesn't feel like it. It sure doesn't feel like it. But anyway, black G10. I love the 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 way the G10 looks. Very nice. It almost looks like my Carta, and on the inside, it's got orange. G10 for the line is amazing. You can see the butt right there. Really well done. So you can put a lanyard in there, which most people that have, uh, you know, uh, bushcraft knives, they put some kind of a leather lanyard to keep it in there. And just a beautiful uh, drop point fixed blade. It's just gorgeous. So I heard that's in my hands. So overall length on this bad boy is 8.6 inches. Uh, the blade is four inches, right? And again, it's 1095 steel. It's very sharp. If you can see the bevel over there, it's very, very sharp right out of the box. I'm going to put that down because I want to show you guys what else is in the box. So, of course, you get a beautiful Kydex sheath with the tech lock ready to go. I'll tell you what this is about later. And you get, of course, a lanyard. Now, you don't have to use this lanyard, but you could if you want to. 
It's got a flint rod with the same G10 and the same orange liner, same handle for my friend who's going to make fire. Very nice, very well done. And it's got a flint rod scraper. So now I'm not a expert, but I think you, you scrape it and it creates sparks and then you make your fire. Yeah. Then it's got this, uh, it gives you like a tool. So whatever you got to adjust on the sheath. There. And uh, the scraper fits right in there. Boom. And the flint rod goes in there. Nice. And the knife, of course. It's supposed to be out of the way. I guess, is this supposed to go that way? I'm not sure what that's supposed to do, but I've never. There. Nice. Look at that package. That's pretty impressive. Very nice. It's pretty compact for a fixed blade, but I like how, my buddy's gonna love this. I like how they have everything readily available for you, right on your hip. How awesome is that? Take a look at the blade. So the handle, again, is G10. Look at the nice contouring. This. You know what, I'm gonna put my orange background so it looks cooler. It's got a nice contouring, nice swell on the handle. Feels really good in hand. Feels really good. The jipping locks it in. Um, it's not rough, but it's definitely aggressive and you feel like you got really good purchase on it. It just locks it, locks it in nicely. Just a beautiful blade. Yeah, it's a mili military style knife. Uh, again, it's a it's a bushcraft survival knife. Um, and my my buddy loves camping. He loves camping. And if you guys are followers of Wieners and Steel, I think you know who this is. Who I'm talking about. So this uh, again again is a full tang, and you can see that this acts almost. It's a lanyard hole, but almost acts as a pummel. And the thickness of the 1095 steel is definitely, it's going to be conducive for like, uh, if you want a baton wood or something, it's awesome. Pretty awesome. So again, pretty easy to sharpen. It stays sharp. Just got to keep it well lubricated. Anyway, that's the Holtzman Bushcraft Survival Knife. Check it out. And this was affordable too. I forgot. Uh, I don't want to tell the price because I want to give away my my boy's present. But it was under a hundred bucks. All right, guys, peace.